Gendit guys What's up Okay so Abang lang tak semua ni To share As you can see I in Not the bush But in a backyard Well I had to start a clean I had to start a clean it But It's the time I get in I not get in to come and clean it I have some big trees there Stuff like that you know. Still have more land down Down there I have more land going down there So this is like My little Zone I'll come and spend a little time with God, you know Talk to God, I have Observe it have a, you know, If you could see up there is where House is So About this land, let me share a testimony So Four years ago My stepdad, he told me well, He would give me this land And I was a Christian that time And I started to backslide after that, about two years ago, I started to backslide. Started to drink alcohol. Started to... Okay. Through therapy, before I go any further, through therapy, um, there was a door that opened up in my life where I started to feel... rejected. And I didn't know that after all these years, when that certain thing happened when that certain thing happened i started to replay it in my head and i opened my door to reject a spirit of rejection to overcome and opening up the door to the spirit a spirit of rejection i opened up myself now to a spirit so all different spirits like spirit of dep depression spirit of alcoholism spirit of nicotine because I, I, I stopped smoking and then I stopped stop smoking and then I stopped so always in this little stop and doing stop and doing and this particular incident happened in March 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 three years ago so I wasn't drinking before that and the incident happened where I started to feel rejected and it opened up a lot of doors into my life I started to feel rejected depressed knowing that a person would give you up a person would come bold enough and say this is my person so that is what was the seed to, that was just the seed to start a grow where I could have stand for and say <clears throat> no let me, let's do it the right way then you know so all well and fine so coming along the way now I started to drink serious but the next person this certain individual didn't realize what was happening and how a seed was sown on my life and I didn't even realize that it was a seed sown and it was what was not a new seed it was actually something that the devil already I already had been dealing with but the devil brought it back because I didn't deal with it properly the devil don't bring no new nothing new in our lives you know the devil does bring the same thing that we in deal with properly so Lo and behold, I started to drink, started to mess up, started to do all kind of things. Coming back to the land now, I want the land now because I want to build a house. You understand? Stepfather said, well, I had a cousin living here with him. Stepfather said, well, he go put me and my cousin name, stuff like that. So I said, all right, no problem. Me and no problem, but them days I drinking, me okay, when I drinking, I have business. I ain't lying for nobody. I come from a life of alcoholism. You understand? So, I do so. I do come up a cussing again. You know, when you go do this, when you go do that, nothing doing because he getting harassed with me now. He say, watch out this boy drinking. This man was a church man. You understand? So, 
in never happen. March 12th, 2020, something happened in my life. And it, it broke me. It, my historical date would be March 12th, 2020. That would be my historical. If I have to write a date that have a lot of meaning in my life, I would write down that date and I would keep it. Actually, I write it down and everything that transpired from within that, that, that time to probably the end of March, I wrote down everything. And someday I would show my kids God's will. I would show my kids it. And I would teach them from it where I went wrong, where I learned from that. So them will have it to use probably in their journey to life, them would have it to use. So, Sabag going to my pastor, praying, doing counseling, because I was crushed, I was hurt, I didn't know what to do. I cut up my hand with a razor blade. You understand? I cut up my hand with a razor blade. I didn't want to hear nobody. Because remember, your whole, when your whole world come down, it's like, you don't want to hear nobody, you know. You, want to, you just want to be like, just by yourself. You don't, you, don't, you don't want to hear nothing from nobody. You don't even want to pray. You don't even want to, you know. It's like, remember your whole world, everything that you thought your world would have been like, it, it crushed, you know, it, 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 it mash, it, it gone. So, in all this, I tried to pull myself together. Try. And I started to go for counseling from my pastor. Now, my pastor praying for me every time I go. Now, my body's the whole COVID, so, so you can't, it, we don't have church, right? So, I would call my pastor, she, she would say, all right, okay, come. So it would just be me and her alone. I would tell her what was going on, she counsel me, stuff like that. At, my pastor know everything about me. My pastor know about smoking, my pastor know about drinking. I, I, I have no secrets with my pastor. And she's always telling me, even in my days, she's watch me and laugh. She say, watch me. Because I would smoke and go. I would smoke and go. And she was like, you smoke, you smoke, I, I smell in it. So, even in all that, even in all that, she said, me are worried, you know, when God ready for you. She said, I just pray that it's not too late. Eh? She said, Terry, I pray that it's not too late. And she said, Terry, if this time you don't come back to God. <laughs> Praise the name of God, eh? See? See all that pause raise there? Shall I pause raise? Tears just want to flow from my for the goodness of God. Eh? She tell me, she said, Terry, if you do come back to God now, you won't come back. She said, son, come back, I'm begging you. And you know, God is such a good God. Who say big man don't cry, but that is because of the father up there. That is because of God. And through counseling, I started to get back there. Started to go seek God face. Started to spend time in the wood. Started to fast. Started to be busy in the time a little bit. Because my mind was still in a turmoil. I pray, you know, I was fasting, I read any word, but yet my mind's still in a turmoil because remember, I have to deal with all these spiritual elements that was there for three years. You understand? So some people will come and say, yes, it's easy, but it, it, it do be easy. You understand? Spiritually, it do be easy. You have to deal with all these demons in you. You have to deal with all these spirits in you. We're warring against the Holy Spirit. You understand? People do feel this is a real thing, you know. People feel this life is just a physical thing we're living in, you know. They don't understand the spiritual concept, the spiritual mentality, the spiritual awareness there is, you know. 
Eu não. Sou. Está de tempo para nadar como a bamba está para nadar tudo em tem. É só uma coisa que eu como a pavi. Só que se uma coisa não disse, well, já lhe lou manani take the ride out a little bit. Se eu me ride out, se eu lhe ride out, living by the old man and thing. I said, alright. And he brought up this whole thing about, you know, um, how to fix the land on your name, you know. I didn't say nothing, eh? I started to feel myself. To feel if I live in, if I, if, if, if I transcended somewhere else, because this was out of nowhere. Now, mind you, this is only within three months now, right? March, April, May, June, July. Five, five months. March, April, May, June, July. Five months now. Down into the seeking God. This come out of the blues, I like. Now, within this whole procedure, I just was praying. I never pray for no land. I never pray for physical things when I pray. All I wanted to do, to do was, God bless me with the little jobs I have and Use me how I could be a blessing to others. And use me in this season to spread your word. That's all my main factor was. To spread the word I got. To reach out to who I could reach out. Because for three years, I was on a different mood. You understand? So in them three years, I, when I could have been doing stuff for God, I choose not to. And my prayer was this. God use me for your will. And it was me alone. My new me, uh -huh. just me and my pastor. I can't, I don't really have too much Christian friends. And as a person, when I like this, I don't talk to a lot of people. But now I could come and share testimony because I went through some things. So, me alone, day, me already had no friend. I don't really talk to nobody again. So, I day fighting it, fighting it. When this guy tell me, my stepfather tell me about this land. I wanted to actually dead. I actually wanted to die because I was amazed, somewhat frightened. I don't know what was going on. The, the, mo the moment, the moment, I didn't know. That was done on a Saturday. It was said on a Saturday. And I called a friend. I called a friend. And within the next week, lawyer, documented everything everything was in our order names was changed and this land here is actually mine now it's on my name and the word of god said that jesus blood is always is a seal upon us jesus blood is a, a seal upon us we are sealed with the blood of jesus christ when the lawyer was giving me the document one of the last things the lawyer told me he took off a, he took out a thing from his jaw and on one of the paper he 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 pressed it on and it caused an engraving a seal he called that a seal and he told me he said this is original he said no one has a no one has this that way that way no one can come to claim anything no one and at that time i really really was not not emotionally to tears but i was emotional i was emotional there because I try all how to get this, to get this, to do this and do that. It never work out. And, and like that, it was done so easy. It was done so genuine. And there is no doubt, I believe it was God. There is no doubt it was the man up there. See that man they call God? I would put my neck today. I would put my neck on a block. And 
tell see take off my neck I will keep serving God take it but I will keep serving God I ain't going back today the land is mine and this will be one of my greatest testimonies of how God has blessed me and sometimes we 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 tend to misuse what God has given us my plans for this land is to build a church I always wanted a church I always wanted to I don't want to preach in it build a church build, build something at least somebody could hear the word of God it may not be now but I tell you this I would never go back if I have to go down dying I'm going down dying I can't go back to where I come from I would never go back I would stand I would cry I would kneel I would fast if that's what it takes to stay abided in God I would and through this time and this COVID time you know we go through so much ordeal we go through so much our stuff and this time has brought me closer to God this time has brought me closer to getting to know God more and I just want to thank God for what he did in my life and I have two or three testimony to share again probably it could encourage somebody probably it could help somebody somewhere you know so that's it that's a testimony there in my life and I would always be grateful to God I would always keep serving God my family who, who I married they will serve God my, my generation I am going to create a generation you know I am going to break my generational curses they are just a generational curses that that are spread from family we, are, we inherit from family our father the devil is real let me tell you something the devil is real. the devil out here before us we just here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 120 years. Our lives are numbered at 120. So, the devil are wrong since creation. Who is you to go up against the devil in your physical self? Who is you to stand against the devil on your own? You can't do it. He will eat you. He will eat you. So, okay, the rain coming. See? See how good God is? See? Rain is coming. That is blessing. That is blessing. That is, that is God. That is true God. Right, so, let's have one like this. Tree, oh God. Tree, like about 40 something years old. So, I, as a man, going out to break break all these curses that I inherit from my parents my grandparents my great grandparents you know I am going to be the one to break that because I live a life that I wouldn't want my family to live I live a life that I can't see living again and as I choose this path, I pray every day that God would be with me. I know He is. And I am going to break every generational curse that my family would be blessed. And my family would grow up knowing God. My children to come will grow up knowing God. Knowing God. My children to come will, will be in in 
the kingdom of God. In the kingdom meaning they will be partakers of church. They will be partakers of, if I have a son, I want a son to be spreading the word like how I would spread the word. And even better, if I have a daughter, I would, I would, I would my desire would she even to, even to spread the word and, and, and do worship and, and learn instruments. You know, my wife, that's a whole different story. My desire for a wife is, it's only God. It's only God. I will give you a testimony about that special someone who, even if I say, if, even as I say it, tears want to run out my eye because God is so great. God, God is so great. So, that's it. Always be encouraged. What I share today, I hope it touched someone. And again, as I always say, stand, stand firm. Don't give up. Don't listen to what people say. Let me tell. Let me. Let me. Let me just say this once more. We all stop listening to people. Spend time in the Word. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Listen to what God has to say. You know, people look at us physical. Physical has nothing. In this physical, let me tell you something. As I said before, we are here for 120 years. That's the most. You understand? Why not give it to God? Give it to God today. Don't waste time. Don't waste your years. You know? And in this journey I have started, in this piece of land here, I don't know if you could see the front there, up there. It already started a little house. There. I don't know. Let's see. Right. Already started a little house. A little small thing, you know, try to start small. Because remember, I come from nothing, I start from nothing, you know. So, and you verge up, you know, a little roof. A little, a little small thing. You know, they say home is where you have peace. You know, so this is my little piece. This is my little background, why this come and Give God a little thanks. You know, it's good to give thanks to God on grounds that He provided for you. On holy grounds. I would call this land on holy grounds when I step on it. And so be it. God's will be done in my life. God's will be done in your life. And stand in feet. As I said, stop listening to people. Observe people who listen to people. Observe people who, who, who always well this one say that and that one say that and this one say that observe their life i hope i'm not disrespecting anyone but i can only praise the name of god because i personally know what god has done for me i personally know and i can provide what god has done for me so i want to encourage you again Stay strong. Don't give up on your word. Don't. And one thing I must say, don't give up on people. Don't ever give up on people. Because you might see somebody and you might laugh at them today. <laughs> and little do you know, a year, six months down the road, that person worth more than you. <laughs> so, don't discredit this credit no one. Love one another. You know, in my life, I've hurt people. And given the opportunity, I would like to ask these people to forgive me. Because I have already given forgiven all you. I've also like got to open up where I can meet these people personally and ask for forgiveness because sometimes this is what we need to do so stay strong keep the faith be blessed always and always remember seek God first his righteous self kingdom and everything shall be added unto you